Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this week's Warner Dev Vlog. This week it's titled What's Next? Milestone Burner Dot. So, in today's dev vlog, we'll be taking a look ahead at what's coming to Warner soon. This includes the next major milestone, Burner Dot, and that it will be the final milestone before the launch of Warner out of early access, which is probably the bigger news here, because we didn't know quite when it was coming. We know, at least now, it's going to be after this next milestone. So I guess it's safe to assume within a few months now? So what will actually be in Milestone, Burner Dot? Well, Army General will gain versus and co-op mode. Previously detailed batches of divisional house cleaning will go through and the command and control setting will be added. Let's go into detail about what all of that means. So Army General's co-op and versus mode. As it says on the tin, this is pretty much the upcoming co-op and versus mode. It will allow you to play Army General campaign with or against other human players. It will retroactively apply to Bruder Krieg already featured in Warno Early Access, but will of course be a standard setting with the launch of the remaining Army General campaigns. There will of course be some restrictions on both Versus and Co-op mode, for example, four human players maximum and three human players maximum on the same side. In Co-op, all players will be able to perform the game's actions, so be sure to be on the same page and have a plan, hence Cooperation Commanders. Once a battle is met in Army General, but before the tactical game is launched, players can distribute the battalions among them. Then, if needed, you'll be able to switch companies from one to the other to make things more balanced. Note that battles featuring fewer battalions than human players on one side will be auto-resolved. In other words, if there's three of you playing together and there's only one battalion, it's going to get auto-resolved. Next up is the new command and control setting. In short, the more units you call in as reinforcements, the less income you get. It is an upkeep system adapted to Warno, bringing several key elements. First, it offers the advantage of letting commanders focus more on the tactical aspects of the game. It limits the number of units a commander can control on the battlefield at any one time. This is especially useful for players wanting to deal with fewer units simultaneously. Another element is that it releases players from constantly bringing in reinforcements to use up command points. As we know, in the regular game you are forced to spend your points as fast as possible, otherwise you'll field fewer units than an opponent, which puts you at a disadvantage. Lastly, the new setting prevents an overdominant player from increasing their lead during a battle in an insurmountable way, giving a real chance for the underdog to make a comeback. It should be stressed that this is a setting and not a game rule, so it is something you can add in to Conquest and Destruction Combat Rules modes. It only affects players' income and not the victory conditions. Your income is reduced by an amount of command points equivalent to a percentage of the cost of each unit deployed on the battlefield. Hence, the more units you call in, the less income you get. Currently, we have three settings, 0%, no upkeep, aka what it currently is, 5% and 7%. There are a few things that are different, so logistics have no upkeep. This means that maintaining your logistic lines will be crucial in a battle. As a famous quote goes, amateurs talk strategy, professionals talk logistics. Air upkeep is half that of ground units regardless of the setting you choose. The reason for this is obviously that your air units often spend a lot of time off the map. Also, there is a limit on the amount of points you can accumulate. You can't accumulate more than 5,000 command points. The new command and control setting will be included with the next milestone, Bernard Dot, both available in skirmish and multiplayer game creation lobbies, but not in ranked. We will also convert 10v10 lobbies to feature this new setting. Last but not least, they've given us this picture of some new textures for British units that have had a bit of a rework. Otherwise, that's everything for this week. The previous blogs obviously discuss all of the house cleaning stuff, so they're not going to go over it again here. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all soon.